Hi everyone, my name is Abir. I'm a certified ascension coach with Twin Flames Universe. Uh, today I'd like to share with you how I discovered the beauty of this healing modality that Jeff and Shalia share with us, the mirror exercise. How is this the fastest tool? How is this working miracles? So um, without further ado, I'd like to first start with uh, reminding us all of the beautiful steps of the mirror exercise, which is four steps. First is stating the upset of what you see in your reality that you are not happy about. So this tool is based on a very basic principle, which is the fundamental principle of the universe. What you see in your reality what you experience in your reality is a reflection of your inner, your inner beliefs, your inner ideas, your perceptions, your emotions, and so on. So whatever you are inside is reflected on the outside. So if you are experiencing upsets, that can be healed because this tool allows to take your power back and heal your reality forever <laughs> and uh, I say this with confidence of course uh, I, I being their student and healing through my own journey um, I can see a drastic shift drastic shift in my whole personality me turning to a beautiful uh, flowering being as I can see myself just open up, open up to more love, open up to heaven, open up to happiness. So uh, without further ado, let's start with the four simple steps of the mirror exercise. It's a quick reminder. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, but this reminder only reminds us to take us deeper into the work and appreciate it more. So the first step is stating the upset. What do you see in your reality that you do not like? Let's take an example of our neighbor disrespecting us. I'm upset at my neighbor because he disrespects me. Every time he walks around, he just walks with an arrogant face and he is disrespecting me. Mm -mm. So we've stated the upset. We're upset. We're so good at stating the upset, right? So this is perfect. And that's actually the hardest part. <laughs> Rest is easy. So number two, step two is changing the pronouns to point them to yourself. This is not to beat yourself up, but to point to a place. And I'll show you how this works amazingly. So step two of the mirror exercise is uh, switching all the pronouns to point them to yourself. It now the same upset, we will be mirroring that and it will sound like I'm upset at myself because I am disrespecting myself. Hmm. So when you say that sentence, suddenly you feel that, Ooh, okay. That's something that could be true. Step three is instating and bringing you to that point of upset, exactly pointing you where in your reality or in your consciousness where you are doing this and committing to yourself, being honest with yourself. Yes. So the step three is, is this true? And the secret is it's always true. So it's yes. The answer to step three is always yes. So uh, I am disrespecting myself somewhere. Yes, because there were times that my intuition was saying something and I did the opposite or I wasn't giving myself enough attention and I was disrespecting my own divinity, my own intuition, my own inner being. My, I was not giving myself priority. So I am disrespect, disrespecting myself somewhere. So that means, uh, yeah, it's true. Step four is find that place in, inside yourself, which is upset. That upset about you disrespecting yourself and asking that little you, 
what do you need to feel loved in this place when you walk up to her she might say wait for her to reply she might say i need some love i need some i need a hug or i need attention i need to be respected i need to be honored and make a new choice that's the point when we make a new choice i choose to love myself here i choose to honor myself here i choose to honor my divinity and when she feels at peace you can melt her in your heart and see that fade away and you will see that in your reality this stops repeating now i used to wonder how come this is working so amazingly and i was drawn to a lot of texts uh, to understand uh because many a times as being an ascension coach i was being asked uh, how is meditation a good modality how is chakra healing and i wanted to get deeper and understand it more so i'd like to extend my understanding and help you out with um uh, with uh my understanding and how i it blew my mind when i actually figured out what this was so uh i picked up this uh book that helped me understand the book is actually called a yogi's guide to chakra meditation it's a very small book um uh, my intention to pick up this book was to understand what chakras are and uh how how is our body how what is our creation our human body in this book on uh, page 11 they have beautifully shown what our human body is made of this is our human body the f- outer circle is uh the causal body the second circle is the astral body and this tiny circle is the physical body and this is the whole consciousness of the body consciousness and this is our human body which contains all three so we are present in all three dimensions at the same time and this body is actually uh manifested from the unmanifested which is god which is uh divine right heaven so uh what the mirror exercise does is points us first we define the upset which is present in the physical body which is the physical plane there's an upset that is there we define it it's there right so we bring that to our emotions which is the astral body right and we check within ourselves that where are we doing this to ourselves that takes us to the causal body so the upset actually has a thought of belief system attached to it So the causal body is made of belief systems the thoughts the ideas the the things that you know people are so attached to it's my belief system so that's what causal body is made of like political belief system religious belief systems uh ideas um that women are like this and men like men are like this or you know it's it could have come from either uh, your parents or it could have come from the past or where you have grown up so um that's what causal body is the astral body is uh the emotions the emotions that come from the causal body and uh it could be hurt pain sadness the physical body is the body of our limbs the the whole system the body the human body that we deal with in the physical reality the touch and all our senses the chakras are a communication channel the communication channel that sit between our astral and our physical so when we are uh doing the mirror exercise step 2 takes us to the astral which is the emotions step 3 takes is is uh, actually a uh, pointing to where it's where the cause is when we state to ourselves yes this is true it's taking us to that place where we are holding a belief there is a belief there we are holding on to it and we release that belief and open up ourselves to love when we heal it so when we open our self our causal body to uh, align with the divine which is love 
we are opening the channel and allowing divine love to flow through that place and that is what we are we are meant to open up i recently uh, have joined uh, jeff's ascension uh, coaches uh, ascension uh, workshops i really really encourage you if you uh, still there must, must be some seats remaining or join the waitlist if you can this is a once in a lifetime opportunity i would say uh, hop on hop on to this wagon because uh, yeah this this is where you will find uh, all your healing all your questions will be answered so that's where i learned that jeff had uh, shared with us that the function of the mind is to open up uh, that line just blew my mind like it was like wow yeah so uh, just like our heart opens up our mind opens up too and it opens up to infinity because god is infinity and how do we open that up is with the mirror exercise I, and the beauty is like the more i see the more i heal the more i enjoy the science behind this i am amazed at how easily simplified way jeff and chilia have literally put this on a plate for us simple four steps you see them in your reality you heal it take it to your causal body open your mind and that's where you heal your separation from god you heal your separation from your goodness heal your separation from heaven heal your separation from your twin flame so uh this is uh this is what i wanted to share with you guys uh i thought that this was such a magical uh a beautiful thing that i came across and um i want to touch upon one more one more thing uh, i had brought up about the chakra system as being the communication channel now the communication channel are merely they are just mechanics around uh, our body uh, we have chakras if you want to look up more information of what chakras are they are centers of communication channel with the divine now with the divine means uh it depends where they are pointed to as well if they are pointed to separation consciousness it will cause us pain if they are pointed to divine love consciousness it will give us love all throughout we will receive love from god and that happens when we have healed our separation through exercise <laughs> uh so the lot of people they use chakra healing as a healing modality uh why this is either very slow or it is uh it is uh it may not be very successful because it is merely a communication channel what you are doing is physically healing that communication channel again and again but not going back to the belief system and removing the cause of the the misery that is giving you that is separating you from god so what happens is even when you have healed your chakras your all chakras you've healed after some time you again go back to that same cycle because you haven't healed the cause of it so if you haven't healed the cause then uh the the chakras they get polluted again and you have to continue healing them so um it, it being a communication channel you also may have faced some trauma in your physical reality which might have caused a frozen belief in your brain then that becomes your reality like you keep uh you know uh, going back in circles and receiving that pain and again again and again and again that is because uh you had taken that information and connected it with pain and that is causing you hurt and that is separating from you from your love from your good from your health so uh this can be a both way communication but when you heal your causal body it penetrates very quickly into your physical reality into your asar into your through your chakra system into your uh, physical reality and that's what you feel relief when you have healed your causal body through mirror exercise you feel the love in flowing in your heart in in places in your body you must have seen if you've been practicing mirror exercise for a couple of months or a year or so you will see your body heal you will start glowing you will 
yeah you will feel relaxed uh you will feel more surrender more refreshed that's because uh our physical bodies are aligned with uh love they are meant to be a vessel of love and now we are bringing them to the divine order of uh being the true channels of love by being uh, by opening up our channels to love by healing them through mirror exercise all right guys i think uh i hope uh, that uh, what i've shared was valuable and you enjoyed this if you'd like to connect with me i will leave my link in the description um yeah keep watching loving yourself keep doing the mirror exercise namaste